Hi guys, and welcome back. When most of us think of salad recipes, we instantly gravitate to salads with spinach and arugula and kale and other leafy greens. Well, today I'm gonna to introduce you to a new salad recipe that's still green, but no leaves are involved, and it may just knock your socks off. It's a simple broccoli salad, and it's creamy, crunchy, sweet, and I really think you're gonna love it. So let me show you how to make it. The only item that requires any cooking in this broccoli salad is the bacon. So we'll get started by placing eight slices of bacon on a parchment-lined baking tray. Whenever I cook a whole package of bacon like this, I always bake it in the oven rather than use the stovetop as it's much easier and cleaner. And I have another video on my channel that walks you through this step by step. So we'll cook the bacon for about 15 minutes or until it's crispy. And while that's cooking, we'll get the rest of our salad together. The bulk of our salad is raw broccoli, and I'm using a large head of broccoli that equals about five cups of small broccoli florets once we chop them off. Now, you may not know this, but you can spiralize the leftover broccoli stem and make broccoli noodles. I don't show it in my spiralizer video, but it's definitely possible and definitely delicious. So once you have all the florets, just make sure they're in bite-sized pieces and then add them to a bowl. Next, you'll dice up a red onion and you want about a third of a cup of red onion. Then add that to the bowl as well. At this point, our bacon should be done, so remove that from the oven and transfer the bacon to a paper towel to dry. And remember that the bacon will continue to crisp up as it dries. The last few ingredients in our salad include a half a cup of sunflower seeds, a half a cup of dried cranberries, and a quarter cup of goat cheese. These ingredients are all really flexible, so if you'd like to swap in a different seed, nut, or dried fruit, go for it. You can even make this broccoli salad dairy-free, and I have a few tips on how to do that on the blog post. At this point, the bacon should be cooled and a little more crunchy, so go ahead and crumble that into the salad. The dressing for this salad is super easy and is just a combination of mayonnaise and yogurt. But I always make my mayonnaise at home because it's so incredibly easy and fresh. You guys have likely seen this on my earlier how to make mayonnaise video, but all you have to do is add one egg, a half a tablespoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of white wine vinegar, a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a pinch of salt, and one cup of neutral flavored oil, and I'm using a light olive oil. Then grab your stick blender and hold it firmly on the bottom while you turn it on. The mayonnaise will start to emulsify and reach the top, and when it does, you can then move the blender up and down to make sure that everything is fully blended. We'll combine a half a cup of mayonnaise with a quarter cup of yogurt, and you guessed it, I'm using my homemade yogurt. But you could of course use store-bought yogurt as well. Then stir that together, top it on the salad, and combine everything together for a delicious broccoli salad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss my next video.